But then the next step is to bring those creations fully to life in an immersive, three-dimensional environment like augmented reality. AR bridges the physical and digital worlds and truly has the potential to be bigger than the web. I mean, after all, we only experience the web when we go to it, but we'll experience AR all around us every single day. Imagine a future in which every sign on every street is personalized just for you, where you never get lost because way markers and turn directions pop up right in front of you wherever you go, or where you can find out just how many calories that croissant has just by pointing at it. Maybe not, but the prospects of living in an immersive world are, in fact, beyond imagination. And today, we're really excited to launch Adobe Aero, a key tool for bringing the world of augmented reality to life. Now, creation for AR is very new. So let's just take it step by step, like how this is actually going to work. So it all starts with acquiring an asset. These can be Photoshop files, Photoshop files you make or get from someone else. They can be 3D objects from stock that you customize with your own textures and materials using Substance, or you can create your own assets using a 3D modeling tool. Once you have your assets, you're going to want to design an immersive experience. And this involves assigning behaviors, triggers, and actions to every object in a scene using Arrow and the breakthrough technology that we call the Behavior Builder. Finally, you will want to distribute this immersive experience that you've designed, whether it be to a game, it could be via uh, a link to a friend, or to some augmented reality platform that may not even exist yet. But before we see Adobe Arrow in action, here's a quick video about what life in augmented reality might be like. Let's roll the video. Play music. OK. There's been an update to your calendar. Show calendar. There's an accident ahead. Should I show you an alternate route? Yes. Show bio. Save to libraries. Oh, hey, Jordan. Hey, Rory. Yeah. I saw this on my right end. Might be cool. Climb half down. It seems that you're making lasagna. Should I turn on the oven? Yes, preheat oven to 400. Open preferences. <laughs> so uh, this just gives you a taste of the sort of immersive experiences that might change our everyday lives. Now I'm excited to welcome Chantel Benson, who will show you how to create AR experiences in the brand new Adobe era. Chantel. Thank you, Scott. Hello, Adobe Max. Great to be here. I am honored to be here to show you Adobe Aero. Aero is an app for designers to create and share augmented reality experiences that are interactive and immersive. Aero makes it possible for you to do this today using the content that you already create and have on your desktop right now. So instead of me talking about it, let me just show you. We're going to jump right in and create an experience together from scratch in Aero. Now, the first vital step in creating an AR is actually getting a scan of the world around you. And 
We do this so that Arrow can have a good picture of where we can reliably place the scene. So it guides me through this, through visual cues, like you can see before me. And once I'm done, now I can start creating. So it's really easy to bring in my own content into Arrow. And we're going to start by bringing in the star of this educational experience that we are going to create. This is a scarlet macaw. And I'm just going to continue to add elements here, like this infographic sign that it's just a flat image I created in Photoshop. And finally, I have a Photoshop file. It is a layered file, and that's all ready to go. OK, so you'll notice that as I put this scene together, uh, I'm just using normal everyday gestures to kind of rotate and scale, place these objects in place. Uh, it's the same type of gestures I use with my smart device. So if you have a smartphone or an iPad, you can use Arrow to put a scene together. Now, let's do something with this PSD back here. I brought this in, and when I put it to full scale, you'll notice that uh, Arrow knows that it has layers. And I can actually expand the space between the layers right here in Arrow. And what's really exciting is that I'm creating for AR in AR, so I get a really wonderful understanding of what, what my viewer is actually going to look at when they view the experience. And I'm just going to dial back those layers a little bit. I've got full control here to kind of adjust things as I go and really play with it. All right, I'm going to scale that up. And then just a few more adjustments to these assets. I'm going to put them in the scene here. And great. OK, now everything's in place. I did that really quickly with just a few uh, movements there. And now I've got this compelling, immersive scene of the rainforest. But let's take this to the next level. Let's actually add some interactivity. Now, what do I mean by that? Arrow lets you be the director. You can set the when and the how your viewer is going to engage with the scene content. So right now, this this scarlet macaw is just going to sit there and look pretty. But I want him to actually fly around that rainforest scene. So I can do that by adding behaviors. And just as Scott was mentioning, you know, I want the viewer to be able to touch that bird and have something happen, have the action happen. So we've got a lot of options to choose from here. I'm going to choose animate. And I can set that loop to be in infinite. Now, I can play back just what that action and trigger sequence is going to do by just tapping this in the, uh, the action panel. And I know that that's just going to have the bird's wings flap. That's not enough for me. I actually want to see this bird flying around the scene. And to do that, I'm going to actually add a few more behaviors here. And I can start to layer them on top of each other so that they start to play in parallel. I can get really rich with this. Now, I'm going to add the animate action and then do something really special with it. Instead of just playing an animation, I'm now going to become the choreographer of this scene. And when I, the countdown goes, I can actually draw that path of motion through the scene, and it's going to be beautiful. All right, I get that visual feedback of where that path is going to take the bird. Now let's see what that looks like when it comes all together. So. Over in preview mode, this is a direct simulation of how a viewer of this experience is going to engage with this on their own device. They see this beautiful scene. They understand that they can actually walk into it, get that nice parallax effect. And then they can touch the bird and have it fly through the scene. I think it's ready to share, don't you? <laughs> All right. So Arrow makes it very easy to share and publish directly from the app. You can either take a video from right here. You can share a link that can be sent to somebody and have them view it in Arrow on their own device. Or you can even share an exported file that can be put into another application. So if you want this experience about the Scarlet Macaw to be in an app about the ecology of the rainforest, you can do that with Arrow. OK, so let's just recap, because a lot just happened. I just created a whole new AR experience with my own content, including my own Photoshop files. I added interactive moments to draw in and engage the viewer of the experience. 
and I can publish the whole thing directly from the Arrow app. So, Arrow is for you as creatives to tell your own unique interactive stories that are going to engage and inspire on a whole new level. And now the entire world is your canvas. Thank you. So thank you, Chantel. So Adobe Arrow is available today for free in the iOS app store. So jump in, check it out, and uh, a lot of amazing things are already being created. OK, so we have shared a lot of news with you today. And I want to quickly, quickly recap it before we go any further. In addition to Adobe Arrow, today we're shipping the revolutionary Photoshop on iPad. We are continuing the rollout of Adobe Fresco, the world's best drawing and painting app, with new additions for Microsoft Windows and Surface devices and Wacom Mobile Studios. We've previewed Illustrator on the iPad coming next year. And we showed you the new Creative Cloud desktop application and the newly reimagined Creative Cloud libraries. These make collaboration with Creative Cloud and even third-party tools, as you saw today, like Microsoft Office, so much easier, more to come there. And in addition, we've made literally hundreds of improvements across every application in Creative Cloud. Your favorite apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign are now even better. Among those improvements is also a new version of Adobe Acrobat that allows you to edit PDFs on the fly on iOS and Android devices. So we're excited to have you dig in and discover what's new in your favorite application. There is just a ton of amazing stuff in there. And that sums up what we're launching today 